Crime in many major cities continued to climb this year, despite an increased focus nationwide on public safety. The city of Portland broke its all-time record for murders back in November when it recorded its 93rd homicide. According to the available data, Phoenix, Arizona saw a significant jump this year over last year's murder rate. In some major cities, murder rates remain well above where they were before 2020, when the pandemic touched off a wave of violence. In Philadelphia, murders are at their highest level in 15 years with the exception of last year, when the city recorded a frightening 540 homicides. Indianapolis recorded still high levels of homicide that left the community shaken, despite experiencing just a few less than last year. But murder rates fell in some of the country's most populous cities, even if violent crime remained stubbornly high. Murder rates fell in 18 of the country's 30 largest cities, according to a Washington Examiner analysis. In the other 12, homicides continued to climb or stayed exactly the same. In New York City, almost every type of crime has risen, except for homicides, since 2021. Baltimore's crime rates have remained high, with the city recording more than 300 homicides in 2022 after a string of violent years. Outgoing Governor Larry Hogan blamed Baltimore's local leaders. Other types of crime are soaring as cities focus their limited police resources on the most serious offenses. In Washington, D.C., for example, robberies and motor vehicle thefts jumped this year compared to 2021. In San Francisco, larceny thefts exploded in 2022. The statistics show that crime remains a serious problem in many major cities, even as Democrats argue the situation is improving quickly. Sarah Westwood for The Washington Examiner.